Hello, greetings. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to E-Ground New Voices Amplified. My name is Plot Mark and welcome to the program that gives you some of the amazing talents and voices from Zimbabwe. And today I will be speaking to an artist who is multi-talented. She's versatile. She's multi-award winning. She's a singer. She's a songwriter. She's an actress. Uh, and she hails from the city of Queens and Kings. Yes, I had to start with the Queens because she's royalty. Her name is Kakeshi Ntambo. Did I get that right? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> they will not know how many times I've reused for me to get there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> great, great. So I, I'm, I'm going to take you back a little bit uh, to start off with uh, your childhood. Growing up, what were the first things that uh, gave you a sense of um, a desire towards the creative arts? Um, well, you know, I, I, I grew up um, in the city of Kings and Queens. And um, when I was growing up, I guess my love for art started way back, uh, as far back as primary school. Even in high school, I was that kid. I was very, very energetic. And I, I used to sing for my parents. I used to, in fact, my parents would call people and make people pay for me to sing when I was like little. And I was like five, <laughs> ten. You yeah, the yeah. You know. I, I was that kid. <laughs> so um, I guess I sang whenever there was an opportunity. Um, because I think singing gave me a sense of fulfillment. It's something that I really loved and something that I was sure of. When I sing, I'm sure of myself. And I was very confident when I did my dancing, you know, art and music. So I was that kid. Even in high school, I, I did drama. Um, uh, I was into sports. I was one of the best netball players. I was very, very active. I was small, you know, but when I did things, I did them big, you see. <laughs> wow, great. Yeah. And what came first, acting or singing? Which one started there? Um, singing came first because I remember I used to, to go to the studio at Ingwa Studios, which is um, in, 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 in Bulawayo. My parents would take me there. And I was, I was like 10 when I started recording like my own stuff, um, my own music. I still have the songs, but I don't know where the, rec the recordings are. But um, I think singing came first. Then after, after like 20, 10 I, I i i i pursued my my acting career as well i, I was under bambata actor center which was directed by six mhlanga that's when yeah. i learned all things, and that's when um we did radio plays stage plays so i really i really i i never switched careers but i just jumped into acting and jumped into music and there was dancing because I, I i i think i i wanted to do like 
I was so interested in musical theater play, where there is music, there is dance, there is um, acting as well. So it was like I was balancing everything all at once, really. Great. But what, what would you say is your comfort zone, where you feel comfortable the most? Um, I think it's music, but music has... <laughs> In music, I got into his name, but acting has paved a way for me, you know. And what would you say has been one of the biggest challenges that you've had to overcome uh, for you to get to where you are? Um, I've, I've went through a lot. Um, I think um, I don't want to say fame because I don't do it. I don't do art for fame, but you know, fame just comes in. When when I started this and when my career blossomed, I was like uh, 21, 22. So I was not aware of certain things when I got into this industry and people don't advise, us, advise uh, young people when they get into this industry that there are vultures, there are certain things that uh, happen when you're in the arts industry. And I got to a point where I was very depressed and um, I, um, I was so, you know, when depression comes, it's like, it's stress, but you don't know whether it's depression yeah. or it's, you know, there's there are so many things that ha happen when you're depressed. And I went through that phase and I managed to battle depression and I'm fine now. And it, you know, there are so many challenges that we face um, as women, as you know, young artists mm -hmm. coming in to the space where people stronger when I was growing up because I'm, um, I'm, um, I'm. Um, um, I, I went through a lot, and uh, I'm saying I'm fine now, and I'm um, you know. It's a team, you know. Uh -huh. And talking about vouchers, and uh, what has been sort of the worst experience or something that you almost like made you quit, if there was any of that moment where you felt like, it's not worth being an artist. Honestly, I've, I've, people say it's only men who, who do certain things to, you know, to artists. And there are also women who have actually, women who have done things and you, 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 you like using, using people, you know, getting gigs, uh, uh, using you, using us or the group or the individual, they use you and they, they build their brands or build their, their, their following by using other people. And I don't think it's a good thing because um, when you're young, you don't know what's going on. And I think that's the most important thing that people should know. Whether it's a woman or it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a guy or somebody who always find ways with outside and uh, push his, his or, or her own agenda. I came to a point where I was like, ah, you know, I, I want to quit because, you know, with, we we want to eat. We want to to feed our our parents, our families. And sometimes, if you do something free for a long time, you feel like this is not working. You know, especially mm -hmm. if you're under a certain group. Not solo. and that's when I decided. You know what? I, I'm just gonna do solo stuff and just do me. Wow. Yeah. Great. And doing you, what, what sort of message do you communicate in your art? Well, um, um, since I'm a Zimbabwean-born um, 
I speak culture. Um, I always feel like you you need to wherever you go, be it South Africa, be it uh, London, you shouldn't lose that identity. Um, I, I, I always feel like whenever people go outside or somewhere, they want to pretend to be some people. And Mina, I feel like if I want to sing in Queen Debele or if I want to sing in Shona, yeah. I, I, I shouldn't be restricted, you know, and say, ah, you shouldn't sing this because you're in South Africa. So my message is like, I'm, I'm, I always want to represent my tribe because the soul community and uh, um, I feel like when I land, I want to than my people. And so that's, that's, that's um, what I think about me. And also, I, I, I do like sad um, folk songs uh, when I sing. And uh, music that communicates with uh, people who are in pain, who are feeling good about themselves. Yeah, that kind of vibe. Wow, great. And how much board of work have you released to that? Uh, singles albums and do you remember the number of plays that you have done wow um um i think i've done more than in music i've done more than maybe 500 600 shows wow, wow. <laughs> my live shows when i'm i was counting you know in the morning i was like ah how many shows have i done yeah and that's 500 or 600 shows um we eat acting and singing and dancing and um I've, I've, i have a single collection album i don't have a solid album yet yeah I, i've got maybe 20 songs but um when i was releasing singles i compiled those in singles into a single collection album because it's, it's like different genres i started with Um, I was, I wanted to do jazz actually because I'm an Afro jazz, Afro soul uh, singer. So, but well, uh, house music started first. Then I, when I went solo, I did my my first single. I launched it on uh, in 2018. Mm -hmm. uh, my song, <laughs> Great. Wow. And would you say um, you have won the NAMA Awards, you have won the Blower Arts Awards, and you've been recognized in so many spaces. Uh, and two, three weeks ago, you made headlines over some remarks that are alleged to have come from you uh, with regards to the value of awards. Uh, in your own words, in the exact words, what exactly did you say? But before that, would you say that the awards have been sort of the biggest highlight of your career so far?
So welcome back. Uh, sincere apologies for the loss in connection there. Uh, I was asking you about the awards that you have won the NAMA, you've won the uh, BAT, BA awards, uh, and you've been recognized so many times. Uh, maybe I'm speaking prophetically, BET is coming your way. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you made some remarks with the regards to awards. You say? I said I received. Great. great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have made some remarks that uh, made the headlines uh, two, three weeks ago about the awards and the value that they have brought. And you've said uh, in courts that these awards were worth nothing and you can even try to sell them, but no one may be willing to buy them or they may not bring any value. Uh, what exactly did you say and what did you mean in your statement? <laughs> wow, um, I knew you were going to ask that question, <laughs> really. <laughs> there was no way I was going to skip so, that one, yeah. So, ah, man. <laughs> so, you know, when I posted on Facebook, I, I, it was like an honest question, you know, asking, I always post these things, you know, mm. <laughs> and I, I say, um, if, if I am to sell or auction my, my gong, would, would anyone be interested uh, in buying my, uh, my, my gong? And nobody came through, but people just uh, started to say things. Then when 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 the, the 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 this message caught up with the media now, yes. the story so we're having a bit of technical. Sorry, when I <laughs> okay. Yes, I can hear you now. You can. Yes, when when the 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 stone, I think, when, when, so, like, the thing is, you know, I always feel like artists are honored when they have passed on. Mm -hmm. Artists are honored when they are dead, and which is like our culture those days. You know that people have adopted, and I feel like ours should. Okay, they should have value. By value, I mean if I receive an award today, um, I feel like this is my own honest opinion. It's not about me having value or, um. Uh, criticizing what the awards are doing for the artists. No, we appreciate it. It's not like we work for awards, but when the award comes, trust me, it's an unbelievable feeling. Unbelievable feeling. But I feel like they should come with something, you know, a token of appreciation because there's so much that we put in when we go to the awards, when we, 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 we prepare for the awards. Someone was saying, if you're feeling like that, so don't go to the awards. I was like, no, I will go to the awards because I was nominated and I have to represent and go to the awards. But I feel like the arts board maybe should um, do something for the artists. Even like, something, I, like I, I don't feel to, like, like it this, should like, be money, yeah. maybe. Uh, is it not that like when an artist gets an award, then it's actually upon them to utilize the recognition to uh, push their work, their brand, and uh, further? Trust me, I'm not disputing that. Uh, if you win an award, you have to work. Because when you win an award, the next morning, it's not like doors will open for you the next morning. Yes. You have to work extra hard to balance what you've got and uh, use that award for for many doors to open for you. 
But I'm just saying, on the day of the award, um, when you receive an award, yeah. I feel like the award should go with something. It doesn't necessarily mean it's money or something. No, that's their job to think of something. But I'm just saying they should have something that goes with the award, something or some endorsements of some sort after receiving an award. Because when you receive an award, you work really hard to get where you want to go and you have to match um, the fame with the award. And artists are not living the award winner life. You have, have 10 awards, but you... You, you 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 are still suffering you know some people have like more than 10 hours and you see that person and like then what's wrong you know so i feel I, like maybe mm. when, when i when i look at um I, I did a review for the nama in 2011 and it was like a decade going through the awards and the award winners and what I found quite striking there, I had to revisit the, visit the article after I had your sentiment. And I looked at some of the people that had won in Onama in the past years who didn't get any monetary uh, prize, but from the accolade that they got, they went on to become, to become global stars. Uh, Tongai Anod Chirisa had won in Nama, and his career blossomed afterwards. Not necessarily that it was directly linked to the award, but there are actually quite a number of notable artists that have made it uh, after having won an award. The, the, their stars started to shine even more. Is it not incumbent upon the artist to make that extra effort? And if the answer is no or balanced, what would you do if you're in the position of, say, an awards organizer, Pete, the BA or the NAMA or another award in Zimbabwe, what would you give to, to artists? Um, I think the, the, the problem is we do not have a structure, right? Um, a proper structure for artists. So sometimes even if we complain, it's like a, we, we complain, but no one is is gonna listen because people are forking out uh, money from their own pocket maybe but i think i don't know because i don't know what happens behind uh, the the arts board or whichever awards name i i think i will push maybe the ministry especially among national awards mm -hmm. i don't know whether they, they support um uh, they support the numbers, but I believe they support the numbers somehow, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. The the little structures that we have, I think they should be at least they should be fair because they are doing it for the artists, in as much as it's business for them, but it should also contribute something to the artists not doing all glitz and glam things, then it's like, ah, the artist should then do wonders after winning the award. I feel like there are so many things to be done. I am um, maybe under a certain board. I would suggest maybe um, they talk to the ministry and maybe some uh, big people with companies and just to appreciate the, uh, the artist as well, not even saying, no, thank you, you've got the gong. Uh, so I think the problem is we don't have a structure. So even if we say we're complaining, um, people just take money from their own pockets. I, I don't know what happens because I've been nominated for the numbers and I feel like numbers are national awards. So they should be something that is different, maybe. We cannot compare the Namas with the Grammys, the Oscars, you know? Yes. We are in Zimbabwe, and we have to work with what we have. So um, I, I think, you know, last, last, last of last year, maybe I was unlucky when I, when I got the Namas because I never got anything. <laughs> <laughs> but would you but, agree that... Um... 
there is a good number of artists that feel a sense of entitlement. They feel that somebody else elsewhere owes them, uh, uh, that they need to be given handouts. You know, like right now we're in lockdown. Uh, any other employee or worker in the country is also feeling the impact of the COVID pandemic. But artists feel that the government needs to give them handouts. Uh, artists feel that companies need to give them uh, corporate dues. Uh, they feel that awards organizers need to give them the hours and need to give them also the money. Is it not something that you, you, you would say is problematic on the side of the artists? We have not been able to create that structure that you referred to. We have not been able to build something out of the awards that they, they've won uh, to get corporate endorsement. Because if you get a national award, there must be a company, there must be numbers that follow you or an impact that follow you that gives uh, you the money that you want as an artist. Not you specifically, but generally. Don't, don't, don't you feel that that could be maybe one of the biggest problems that creatives feel somebody owes them and someone has to pay them. <laughs> <laughs> now you're grilling me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I just well, the others. Uh, I think artists I, I just, artists are angry people and hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you said it well. <laughs> So it's the anger and the anger that is so, artists. So artists, if the artists are angry, they are angry. <laughs> so we can talk about this the whole day. I hear but you. I I honestly I honestly think I, I've lost the audio there. Yes, now it's back. Yeah, you were saying. I, I was saying the. I think the 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 government or the ministry promised us a, a, a fund, and people are still waiting for the fund. Yeah, you guys received no. that money. Yeah. I hear that it was already issued. Do you know if anyone was given the money? The COVID. Personally, I didn't receive the money, um, and the the people that I've met, they've not received anything. I don't know whether it's money or in poo poo or it's cooking oil, but I, I don't know. But people haven't received anything. Maybe maybe some have received, but we uh, people like doing dodgy things, hey, you know. But um, if you know, we're just surviving like any other person in Zimbabwe. Uh, imagine from last year, we've been struggling. There are no, no there are no places that are open. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like artists in Geneva, we're, we are just living and yeah. uh, so even if they don't give us a, a fund, at least maybe a, put maybe a regulations whenever we're doing shows, at least we we'll start something for us to survive because um, we, 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 we do shows and we do live shows and that's where we get our money, our income from. Um, some people got um, their side hustle, you know. Uh, some people don't. So... If if the government is not pitching in and if if you are being ignored, it's 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 it, it's not nice, you know. It it sure. we will always complain and talk because we not because we are saying we are entitled, you know. We we want we want to to be given that fund as well, like any other institute or whatever. I think they should consider artists as well because um, we are the ones who bring entertainment. We are the ones who, who who make things work, you know. So they should really consider us and just in We're not asking for much, but 
Basically, you understand? Yeah, I get you there. Um, thanks a lot. Five years from now, where do we see you? What are you working on currently, and where do we see you in the next five years? Uh, it's, you know, I, I've, 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 I've been to, I guess, relax. Last year, I only did like maybe one single, two single. Mm -hmm. So I think. I can't really say in five years' time because it's some. I, I, I feel like I haven't reached um, my goal yet. I'm still punching those those goals, and I, I I want to to see myself performing in big stages. I want to be in festivals. I want to have my 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 own little mini studio, and I I really want to take a break. And, and maybe support some who are to this industry. So, you know, God's timing is always the best. So, I don't know what in five years' time, but yeah. I believe that this year, this year is like going to be the year because I've been too relaxed, I think. Um, <laughs> I don't. Yeah. So, but um, I'm gonna do more singles and more collaboration, and um, I'm 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 ready to work. I'm actually doing a a, a series. Great. Yeah, and uh, um, I'm. Okay, we seem to have uh, another challenge with the audio there. Great. Okay. Great. Yes. So, um, people that love your music, that love your work, how can they connect with you? Where can they find you? Your social media platforms. Um, um, my name is Gregoshi So, my music is on all digital platforms, mm -hmm. um, Apple Music, Spotify, at least there's Spotify in Zimbabwe now. Yes. Yeah. And so it's like Q-E-Q-E-S-H-I-W-E, -E -E, like that's like my full name on all social media platforms. And also on YouTube, you know, people can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I need more followers. Yeah. Please, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. please subscribe, like, and follow. Uh, and Tambo. Yeah, I think my, my, my tongue is, is getting softened uh, on all social media platforms, and then you can definitely enjoy your music there. And apart from your own yeah. music, who else are you listening to? Who's on your playlist right now? Maybe three or four artists that are listening to currently. Uh, ish, local. Uh, let, okay, let me let me go local and uh, maybe out of the country. Um, I've got um. There is an album that Tandi did. I love that album. I've got a few songs from the album. Tandi Lana. Tandi Lana. I love it too. Yeah. Um. There is there is Nobuntu. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know Nobuntu, yes. And who else? Um, I like Kwabarati's music. <laughs> me too, me too. But, yeah. And, um, you know, I always have a, a, a rhythm on my phone. Whether it's old or new, uh, there is new rhythms, I do not care. Mm. I have the brighter days. Yeah. You, you love a lot of reggae dance, oh? I love reggae music. Like, reggae is in my soul. Nice. And also jazz music, you know? Yes. Yeah. And also, um, there is a nice. song that I really love um, from Seagull. She's actually launching it, uh, I think, 25th March. Oh, okay. Seagull, you know? Seagull, yes, I don't know. The song is called... 
Yeah, I've got her songs too. So yeah, that's like my 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 playlist. One more. Uh, there's this this guy. This guy, Kate. Uh, Which one? Woo, there's that that's song. Okay. The, the, yes. the reggae song. Yes, the reggae guy. That's okay, Dad. Yeah, that's okay, Dad. Yeah. Okay, so that's right? <laughs> yeah, and and, and Vusam Kaya Masia oh, Pambili. That song yeah. that did you on that project? Yes, I'm part of the song. So ah, I, okay, great. I, uh, yeah, I loved it. I loved it, and I like the video too. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> so I think that's my playlist for now. <laughs> great, great. Wow, it's been awesome. It's been great speaking to you. Um. To those that have been watching since apologies where we've been experiencing technical challenges uh but we managed to have a very interesting conversation with uh with Teteshi Mtambo, who is an amazing artist versatile artist she's a songwriter singer uh actress and she does so many things within the arts and definitely we look forward to some of her new productions she says she's going to be working on something new and releasing something fresh this year and we're looking forward to that so stay tuned ear ground new voices amplified thank you so much for being part of the program thank you so much um your time and i appreciate ear ground it's, it's such a great platform for 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 us so thank you so much to you as well Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So until next time, new voices amplified here ground this place and stay tuned as we bring you more exciting programs uh, on this platform. I'm out. Ground Radio. New voices amplified.